Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumaticraft Repressurized for Minecraft 1.15. So today I would like to do some bits and pieces. I'd like to actually make, fix this coal supply drone. It gets stuck when it runs out of one of the two components, which is either wood essence or coal essence. In fact, it always runs out of wood essence, so I need to plant some more wood seeds, I guess. Um, I'd also like to have a look at the one probe. <laughs> I haven't done that, I should have done it earlier on, really. Um, make an end seed, plant it, and we'll have a look at network data storages and the remote. So let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to show you is actually the, the one probe. With the one probe, you can actually put it on a pneumaticraft helmet. In fact, I think you can put it on almost any helmet like this so now it's that one probe installed helmet like this and then when you look at stuff for example i'm looking at this chest now if i press shift i should oh i need to put it on first I? <laughs> it doesn't work until i put it on when i press it i should be able to see the content as you can see on the top left hand side without it that doesn't work so you can see what's in chests without actually having to always open them up but nice so we'll leave that here anyway. So the next thing I would like to make is the end seed. Now, the end seed is this one. So we need this end, uh, I don't know how you pronounce this, allogram, allogramatia or whatever it's called. Anyway, recipe for that is two end stone, one chorus fruit and four uh, purple blocks. We need four of these things. So what are we missing? Oh, purple blocks. Right, now purple blocks are made out of popped chorus fruit and Four of those will make four um, purple blocks. Let's carry on. Let's make this up now. So we got we need four of these things. We need four uh, Imperium essence and one seed. Now the uses of this it will produce this end essence, and from that we're basically it's just building blocks really. So we've got we can make chorus fruit, we can make end stone, and we can make purple blocks. Chorus root, you can then pop to make pop chorus root and so on and so forth. So let's just get that assembled. It's night time, I'll have a quick sleep and back back in a second. The reason I go to sleep is basically because um, it stops the noises, the most, some of the noises anyway, which can be rather frustrating sometimes. So let's put this down first of all. If I can reach. And then put down the Imperium Essence. Of course we've done all of this before, but just as a just in case you've forgotten, which you mustn't have forgotten because it's so simple. Right, there we go. Let's go and plant this down. I've actually prepared a bit of dirt here. Let's plant that down on there, and I've got some crop support, so that's done. It's easier easier to plant it down before you put the crop supports down. Right, now the next thing, let's go have a look at this program. You see this drone is hanging here. And the reason it's hanging here is it's run out of dirt essence. Uh, not dirt essence, wood essence. In fact, it's even removed the wood essence from here. So it's, not, it's a bit of a pain. In fact, that's actually a bug in. And it's a really frustrating bug. I think we should have probably have some wood essence in here like this. So we've got 10 good. What I'm going... What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, remove all the coal essence out of here too. In fact, put in one of each would be a good idea as it happens. At least one coal essence. Wood essence, I mean, because it's run out. So let's just break the strand first of all. And you'll see it dropped uh, actually quite a lot of bits and pieces as it happens. It dropped some more coal essence. So let's just put it in there so it's got a place. So now, I'm going to put all of this into here because we don't need all of it. I'll keep the I'll keep the wood essence with me, and we'll have a look at this drone program. So what's happening is it's it knows it knows it. And this basically this condition here says um, it just checks whether the compressor's got enough items in it. If it's got less than 52, then it knows it can fill it because one craft of this will make 12. Um, charcoal as it says here but there's a problem the problem is if it's run out of stuff here then it's going to keep going around this loop all the time 
picking up another coalescence, and that's what happens. Um, I've actually still got some more coalescence on me here. Let's go to this. Like that. So to fix that, what we're going to do, we're going to split the program up a little bit. Um, so first of all, we're going to split these these parts out of this program. Uh, what I'd like to do is change this. This bit here was to uh, empty the inventory at the beginning. Now there's a better way of doing this. Take this standby piece and put it straight after the start piece. In fact, I would recommend that for every single program you write because it stops. Um, it, it basically stops. I'm just having a look see if there's anything here. It, it stops the drone doing anything. So we basically throw this away like that and bring everything over here a little bit more. So the drone shuts down and waits for things. So it only does actions when it can do actions, which is great. So now, the next thing we're going to do, we can get rid of idle, we don't need this either. That saves us pieces of plastic, if nothing else. So now we come along here, and before we start doing this, what I would like to do is I'm going to copy this out of here like this. And I'm going to put in a new text label. We'll, copy, we'll simply take this one out of here and rename this one. And we're going to call it um, Check Inventory. And this is the inventory of the drone. And this is going. I'm going to replace the fill out of this. Get rid of that one and put this one down here like that. So it says if it's not got enough, if it's got space in the compressor, it's going to then check the inventory. Okay. And what we're going to do for that, so we've got a new piece we haven't used before. So let's have a look at this tab and probably it's actually this one here. Drone condition items. Okay. So all we need to do is to check whether the drone has got wood items in it. So let's wood essence items. So let's just put that one in here. And then we're going to jump to a location. Now, this is actually slightly awkward because there's no lessons, but what to make it clear, we're going to say if the drone has got eight or more, then we can press proceed. But in this case we haven't got eight or more. So what I want to do is I want to relabel this one and call this what I'm going to call it check um, I'm going to remove the text as it happens because I want to have an empty one to put in here and we'll use that one later on so this one here what we're going to say is we want to say check um, invent check coal it's actually coal less no it's wood essence I want to check done to and I'm going to write in essence in here because it's too big so what this does it says if it's got more than eight oh, wrong way around let's put that down here check wood it's got to be net the opposite of of this uh, sorry i've done that wrong so i meant to put this one on the side here like that okay so this is the false condition so if it hasn't got eight pieces of wood essence in its own inventory it's then going to import them so we're going to come along here like that and this is actually where I want the check wood one to be so let's just bring that across like that in fact I can get rid of this altogether don't need it so next one we're going to repeat the same process and we're going to check whether or not we have got enough um, coal essence in the inventory so we'll bring this one down here like this this time we don't want eight we want one type that in right okay and this time we're going to say check coal so we'll rename this one so what we're going to do is we're going to check whether an inventory and it's this inventory has got enough space pieces so let's first of all bring this across here and finish it off like that so what we need to then check is we need another piece we will basically want this piece again let's bring this piece out again like this I need it I need to jump into this one like that okay this is actually where the check wood one wants to be in here like that so it needs to check whether it's got wood so first of all we have to have the wood that we're going to check for because that's important and then we're going to say um, 
which inventory we're going to check. And of course, it's the same one as we're importing from, so we can simply copy this piece across like that. And then, if that's the case, then we can import the wood. So what we're going to do with this one is we'll just bring in another text piece like this. And we'll say this one is import wood. Try to keep it log obviously logical so we can come down here. So if it has got enough pieces of of wood, then we can import it. And then at the end of this, I'm not going to do anything. We're just simply going to re repeat this block. And we're going to do exactly the same for coal lessons. Fortunately, you can't do a, that type of repeat, but unless we can take this one out of here like this, and this one out of here like this, and we're going to take this label down here, so we've got a repeated. So instead of wood, we're going to check for coal. Okay, and this time we've got to have, or oh, haven't set it up on the previous one either. So <clears throat> if it's got more than or equal to one piece of coal in this inventory, we can. That's the true condition. So then we can import coal so let's bring this down here just fix this so it says coal you'll notice that when i do this it doesn't complain about it even though there's no place for that to go to so let's then drag this across to here and we're going to check coal so at this stage we have checked we've checked that the that they storage drawers has got enough uh, wood essence and got enough coal essence so therefore we know that we can import this and craft it so we don't need to do any changes here that's fine and i think that's all we need to do so let's just push this drone into here and reprogram it i like that obviously the time while i've been talking doing this there may well be some more essences in here so let's just come along here and just see what we've got. We already have eight. That's no problem. Let's put it down, the drone down here, and let's start to debug this drone as well. You see, it's picked up both pieces, crafted it, and that should then go over to there. Why is it not doing so? Let's have a look at the, the debugger. Um, actually, it should have worked. <laughs> oh, because I've got the wrong condition in here. Look, that says less than 52. I did see that before as it happened. And you'll see it's gone red here. That's interesting. Let's break that again. Of course, it's taken everything out of there, which is good. Come along here and then fix the program. This happens quite a lot. You're programming and you miss bits and pieces and you just have to look at the program, what's going on. So this time, anything is less than, or it should really be more than eight, more than or equal to eight pieces of coal. And then it should go over here. And that matches these conditions, as you can see. And that's then correct. And that's the, the way it should be. So let's put the program back into here take it out again we've actually got 11 we've got 18 pieces of we could split this into that oh it wouldn't work there will it so let's put this drone down here now we know at this stage it's got a red block on that I think that'll disappear as soon as we put it down like that let's have a look at the this again we don't need to be cl close to this to actually debug it once you've got it sort of highlighted then you can come away from it like this and then you can press control u and you can see what's going on so sure enough it says it hasn't got enough um wood essence so let's put some wood essence into this chest over here it's night time i'm probably oh we've got one already let's just put in those and then the drone will take it out and then it'll start to do the next one let's go and have a look at that so now it's checking for coal essence and it hasn't got enough coal essence so if I put some coal essence into there and don't ha don't have any with me it's in this chest isn't it I 
I'm going to have a quick sleep. Come back in a second because it's just too loud. Don't like doing that. So now, oh yes, check. I'm just going to put some coalescence into here, wasn't I? So let's have a look at the program again. Make sure it's still behaving as we expect it to do. Yeah, it's still looking for some coalescence. So we put one piece of coalescence into here. The drone should take it out as it has, as it has done, and then it should craft. And now it's looking for this again. So it's now looking for some more. Uh, God, was that fast or have I messed that up? Let's put those in there. And let's have a look at it again. So this time it's checking for coalescence. It would, it would do, wouldn't it? Put one piece of that in there. Let's have a look again. Did it not take it out? Have I got something wrong in here? Yeah, there you go. And there you see it's going through this loop now. So it's actually done some crafting. And it should be putting it in the inventory. Let's have a look. We've got nine of those and one of those and it's sitting here. What is it doing? Let's have a look how much coal we've got in here. If I can get to it. Charcoal. Oh, we've got coal in here. Why have we got coal in here? Aha! Because I'm being um, daft, aren't I? <laughs> yes, I'm putting. I wasn't putting coal essence into the thing. I was putting coal in it because I put all the coal into that chest, so it must be coming out of this chest too. Ah! Did I put coal in here? No, I didn't. So we'll look at this again. It's got 23 pieces of charcoal. That's fine. I must be taking. It must be doing something with it. So this time, let's have a look at the program. So it's checking for coal um, essence. So it's got obviously no coal essence in here, which it hasn't. But it has got one wood essence. So let's put it into here. I don't have any more wood essence, but let's put in one piece of coal essence, and then the drone should change its pa its pattern. So it should, in this time, it's waiting, trying to look for the coal essence. It hasn't got any yet because the drone, the collect, um, the inventory drone hasn't done it. Now you see it's done it. Now it's going to take the, the coal over there because it already had got some coal uh, wood essence in the inventory, and it's going to put it into the chest. And so look. And now it's come back again. It wants to do some more crafting because there's probably not enough coal in uh, fuel in here yet. So it's still 32 exactly. We can easily fix it by putting in some charcoal in here. It's 44. Still not enough. And it'll still wait until it gets enough of that. So while it's waiting for that, one thing I can do is I can make this put some more crop supports down here and some wood essence. I'll do that and I'll come back in a second. Right, that's done. So we should start to get enough coal um coal essence being made. I hope that's the case. In fact what I can do is put these away in here. So I'd like to keep this redstone block. Actually I'll show you what I'm doing with the redstone block. Uh, I'm going to remove this on the banner. I don't need this banner. I'm going to knock this piece of um, stone out of here and put in its place a block of redstone. Yeah, they got picked up by the drone, I thought it would do. And then on that, we're going to put the dragon's head. So I've got the dragon's head here, like that. When you put it there, it animates itself. Um, and you can see it looks quite fun. <laughs> You can't put it above the door. If you do that, then the door opens, so you don't need to. With the redstone block, anyway, that is. So now, one more thing I'd like to cover on this, in fact, is um, the next thing I'd like to craft. So in here, you can see I've got, I would like to craft a remote. Now, to craft a remote, we need some transistors, four transistors. We need a GPS tool, a network I.O. port. Um, and the uses for this one is required for this 
it doesn't have any uses directly I think it's used within the security um, station and a network data storage the recipe for that one is basically pieces of plastic around the chest with four grey dye now, I'd like to make a couple of those what these do is they actually store programs so I needed four transistors to entire I needed four capacitors I needed some grey dye and I've got some dye here essence in this like this and what we can do with the dye essence if we have a look go back to the, the recipe that we're looking for uh, this one we can make these so I can shift those out to make two sets because they come in four so that actually gives us three and then we can change it to being cyan dye now cyan dye is used in the network IO port I think yes it is so we can craft one of those up and then we should be able to craft one of hopefully well we're missing piece of plastic yeah plastics what it's all about really and I'd like to automate it that's my goal not for today but maybe the next episode or two because it's it's quite a process so let's try that again I've, I wanted two of these so I haven't got enough wood so I need some more chests I've got plenty of chests to be honest with you but I think it's probably quicker doing it this way than to, trying to go and find them like that here's the recipe again and then I'll just make up the remote because we then we've got almost everything for the remote I think Ah, oh, the GPS tool yes the GPS tool is either in here no or is outside I prepared some already I think I prepared yes I got three made so I just need one of those for this um, for today we've made those before so it's not going to cover it again but the remote we haven't crafted so let's do this one time okay now the reason I'm going to craft a remote is I want that's really for the next episode but for today what you can do with these like this as you can put these in here and then you can change its name so really this is if I yeah this doesn't keep the name of the drone so what we're going to call this one is we're going to call it it's a, it's a coal supply No. Actually, you just saw that then, and the the Y dis the L disappeared, and I think the same happened as well. I'm pressing R, and it takes a few seconds to actually come in. Yeah, that's it right. There. And then you can write this program into into here, and then it's got all the bits. It doesn't use any bits from in from this chest here. You see, we've got let's just sort that out. We've got 61 pieces. Now, if I then delete this program here like that, put this back into here, the Sokol Supply program, you'll see that there's still 61 pieces in here like that. And let's just re -put, take the program out like that, and then we've still got 61. It doesn't use the pieces up, unlike the, um, which one is it called? The, the red version of this. <laughs> That's how I think, isn't it? So, um where's it gone to i'm sure you can see it because i can't i'm being blind might we just say it's hiding behind something up here no it's not oh this one yes the network api so that you can do the same thing with the network api and then it hides it takes the pieces and puts the pieces into the into that which is also a good way because then you know you've got enough pieces to reprogram that drone very good. Well, I have a little bit more time. I've done this episode three times now. Uh, and I did mess up that reprogramming that a few times. So what I've got here is actually... I was a busy when I was going out and doing all this stuff that was actually picking up quite a lot of stuff. So I need to just turn my magnet off. Um, I'm hoping now that we've reprogrammed everything, it's going to be better. So you've even picked up two golden hour which we can push through them I think and disenchant this stuff but that's another time there is one more thing I'd like to build which I didn't think about 
But I was looking at my XP and I was going, actually I've got a lot of XP. Um, 69 levels of XP. Now, this is a memory stick which stores XP. So do we need two pieces of gold, two pieces of plastic, one gold, and uh, two diamonds and one emerald. So I think that we have everything we need. Let's just get everything out. One salt sand. Two diamonds, one emerald. Two pieces of gold. Well, that's three. Yep. Two diamonds, one emerald, and some plastic, wasn't it? Two pieces of plastic. Do I still have the plastic with me? Yes, I do. So let's make this memory stick. Never done it before never use it so I think it must be a new item so didn't get a new recipe but I've never done it so let's have a look see when you right click this like this it adds it to your your XP goes into the stick which is fine now is it, it has another mode does it XOR mode shift for info okay so sneak right click for one level uh, sneak right click to retrieve Hold on, right click to restore one level. Okay, shift to restore it and left click to absorb the L. All the L. Auto absorb. Okay. So when we auto absorb, we're like this. So that's now in auto absorb mode. Yep. No, left click it. Maybe you have to shift left click it. Oh, doesn't seem to be working. Left click, toggle auto. XP auto. That's a bit weird. Try that outside. Nope, it says it's not. So let's just fill it up. As you can see, if I hold shift, puts it the other way. And this actually does have a capacity by the looks of it. There. So now if I do this, this, I'll get this back again and it will basically just thing. Left click. Toggle up door. That's what was a middle ticket. No. Nope. Shift left click it. No. Left click it. No. Okay, doesn't work. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go and put this stuff away. I think that's. Well, that's it for this episode. Next time, we're going to have a look at doing variables for drones. And we'll tie those to the remote so we can write a little program or a little configuration in the remote. And then we'll use that to start a drone program. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.